Okay, um, this is Nick from ViaEngines.com. I'm going to show you a very interesting, uh, difficult to diagnose problem I occasionally get. Now, what I've um, done is I've put in this engine deliberately a defective coil, which is very, very rare. It's got a new condenser, new points, but I know this coil starts okay, but it has uh, problems, breaks down when it's running at higher RPMs. Now, about the only way you're going to find this fault, because it'll work on a static bench desk making a spark, you'll get a spark from the spark plug cranking over, but it'll misfire and behave erratically. The only way you're going to be able to diagnose this is, apart from substituting it with a good one, is to use one of these little um, car strobes on some timing marks that you've put on there, or use the, um, the notch method. So put a mark on the flywheel, which is roughly top dead centre, and um, connect it up. You'll need my one works on 12 volts, so I've got 12 volt supply, and then the sensor goes on the HT. And I'm going to start the engine up. You'll see that the F mark, which is the firing point, I've put on here, stays about stay in the in the upright position because I've marked it here. That doesn't matter. But what is important is it's stable at all revs, and you'll see when it's running. It's stable at low revs. As soon as I open the throttle and rev the engine up, it suddenly starts missing and moving all over the place. Right. That means it's a defective coil. And I'll show you a second video in a minute when I've replaced this coil with a good one, and you'll see what it should be like. So you can see which you've got, a good coil or a bad one. Now, uh, let's try and get this started. It suddenly shifted about two centimetres to the right. It can never do that with a good coil. It's always rock solid stable in the same firing position. So I know these are clean points, good condenser, it must be the coil. Uh, right, I'll show you another video in a minute. 